who has performed anime in any production panel? Wow, okay. Who's actually played the title role in Hamlet? Anyone? Wait, you? You can play Hamlet. <laughs> I always think, what can you add to the sort of performance history, the performance commentary? Uh, if you don't think you can add something, or you can't invest in something, probably just let everyone else do it. You know, particularly with a play like Hamlet, it's done quite often. So I don't think the play Hamlet is necessarily in need of more performance history. You know, it's fine as it is. So one thing I do when I start looking at a play is just thinking, um, is there something we can do that other people perhaps haven't done? And in a way that might be casting, or it might be part of the adaptation, or it might be part of the edit. So anyway, it was one of the plays that, and also I didn't know who the Hamlet was. And so it felt to me, particularly with that play, if you're going to spend quite a lot of time with that one actor, uh, you need to know who that is. And there, was, there is an actor in the company who um, had started to get to that point, but he's a bit too old. Much to his distress. <laughs> uh, telling an actor you're a bit too old now, though, aren't you? He's like, I'm barely 30, what are you talking about? Because to me, Hamlet has always needed to be around 21. Uh, to make sense of some things. So anyway, um, and then I did... Um... Oh, yeah, yeah, just stop. Oh. I'm going to ask a question and then you answer Go it. So you have, you've got to answer that question. So yeah. my next question, <laughs> which you were about to answer anyway. So then, why now and how did this particular production come about? So I did a, um, so did a drama in training production at uh, St Mary's University. And the head of drama asked, we were talking about titles, which title to do. And I was sending him things, he was sending me things, and we just couldn't quite sort of, it just, there wasn't a the perfect thing. And then sort of out of kind of um, nowhere really, I just said, what if we just did an ensemble production of Hamlet? And he went, yeah, that. And then I thought, shit, I've got to do this, you know? So I went down and met the cohort, and they were all roughly around 20, early 20s. And so straight away I thought, the problem with that's going to be um, the older characters. And I can't, and because I work in quite a Brechtian way, so i.e. stripping things back rather than just adding on top, um, I thought I can't ask the 21 year old to play an 80 year old. There's just going to be no level of truth in that at all. I can't justify it. Maybe the theatre makers could, but I just thought I can't do that. And then the other condition was it had to play in reps, so it couldn't be any longer than 90 minutes. And I quite like 90 minutes straight through anyway, so that wasn't a problem. But I went, right, there's the brief, off I go. So I met what the. What was it in rep with? Um, posh. Um, Victoria's Knickers. Victoria's Knickers. And the Out Damn Woman. Which was a very nice play. Out Damn Woman. Wow. I love the idea of Hamlet and Posh together. That's really good. <laughs> well, 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 well. Okay. Uh, great. Thank you all for joining us. Uh, Ricky, just to pick you up, is in the middle of telling us how this production came about uh, prior to public so then, so, so then what I did was I went home and went, how the hell are you going to do this 
in 90 minutes with no add-ons or no other characters. So essentially what I did was I got an electronic version of the script up and I highlighted all the adult text in red and then I put them from the document just to see what was left. And it was roughly 35 pages of size 12 font area. <laughs> and that's roughly 90 minutes of stage time. The font But I found that over, <laughs> yeah, no, it absolutely is. Uh, over the 10, 15 years we've been going, I know how long a play is going to be by pages at size 12, font area. So I went, oh my God, there's like a sort of light through the window moment. Oh, this is, the, this is how you do it. So then I pitched that to the head of drama, and he went, yeah, sure, go for it. Go for yeah. it. So we did, so we did the production at Twickenham, and then um, there was things in it that I'd never seen in the play before. So one of the references I, I, I think I brought up a couple of times is, the, uh, for example, the characters Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. I've always seen them as like a double act. Or in full length productions, I've always seen them a little bit like Tweedledee and Tweedledum. You know, they just turn up. And in curtain calls, often I go, Who are they? You know, I've seen shit productions before, where I look at the curtain call, I go, Who are these two buggers <laughs> over here? And so, part of me, when, uh, so when we started rehearsing in Twickenham, it just um, I saw the relationships not as a double act, as individuals, but you really got, I, well, the thing I'm hoping people get, and the thing I saw was a relationship between these young people and the lies they have to tell each other. So I started becoming interested in why do they have to lie to each other? They've been sent in this room to try and find out why Hamlet's mad, but they can't tell him why they're there. And then, then, you can start, then I started applying it to all of the young people. So Ophelia's sent into a room with a man her father thinks is mad, and to give this box of things that is going to emotionally remember him back to a time before his dad had died, but also a relationship. That's only going to go one way. But her dad puts her in this impossible predicament. And I thought, that's really fucking weird. Mm -hmm. Honestly, swear. I thought, this is really mental. But why have I not seen that in a production before? Because Poloni's softened with this bumbling, funny old fool. And I thought, that's, that's really interesting. So anyway, so, so there's lots of things that came out of it. So anyway, during rehearsals, I picked Gabby, who I run the company with. I said, actually, maybe it's time for us to do Hamlet. And maybe use that as a bedrock. And then I spoke to Chris, who's the artist director here, and David, who is the uh, participation producer here. And I said, you do this project called Shakespeare for Schools, don't you? And he says, yes, we do, which is good. And I said, is there a way of us doing Pocro on doing something where we create something with young people, for young people? And he said, totally and brilliantly, we don't have enough money to do it next year, but if we co-produce, we will be able to do it next year. Right. And there here we are. And there we are. Thank you very much. And we are now joined by uh, your uh, company. So let me introduce, now, this is, I try, I try to get this mm -hmm. right. So mm -hmm. I'm going to name you all, mm -hmm. and you're going to tell me afterward <laughs> if I've got it right and if I've got the pronunciation right, or correct, correct pronunciation as I go. But Michael Hockey, Sam Morris, Raj Swami, Alex Zur, Amber Mendez Martin, mm -hmm. Uh, Lee, uh, Lexine Lee, yeah, uh, Kira Murray, Khalifa Taylor, and Juan Hernandez. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So thank you all for joining us. And the empty chair in terms of the cast is the one face that I might recognize if they were here, which is Misha Colombo, right? Um, who is the voice the disembodied <laughs> voice, and is a uh, Lazarus alumnus. Um, but the rest of you all, am I right in saying this is Lazarus' debut for all of you? Second one. Oh, 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 shoot, man. Okay, so lots of Lazarus debuts, and hands up, how many professional debuts on the stage here? Amazing, amazing. Okay, and hands up again, we already had the audience. The audience had to tell us how many of them, and now you have to tell us, how many of you have before, have seen a production of Hamlet before? On stage? On stage? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, sorry? On stage? Yeah. Oh. I don't know, sorry. No? Uh, Studied Hamlet? Okay, right, okay, so it's all new to you. Um, fantastic. So, <laughs> but you know, of course, Hamlet, a big play, a big, big take, You're playing uh, characters that are known through the ages. Um, how does that feel, particularly as a young company, many of you making your professional debuts, 
is that at all daunting? And Michael, I'm saving you for last. <laughs> uh, okay, who, who would like to tackle that in terms of uh, approaching this play that is so well known that um, Raj, you look at me. Well, for me, I mean, anyway, like Shakespeare is. It, very, I'm, I'm not well versed in Shakespeare. I haven't done a lot of um, study of plays and everything. So for me, it's almost, it's like learning another language, almost. Um, so yeah, when it came to Hamlet, um, I, mean, I sort of knew a little bit about it, but not so much. So for me personally, it was, it was definitely a challenge to get my head around the text and the language and everything.